Hi, my name is Dan Whalen. You might know me from films such as Riverdance 2017 and Steo Conference Video number 425. I'm here to tell you a little bit about our wonderful science program here at Confederation. Over the past few years, we have been able to add a lot of awesome elements to our program, including robotics, coding, and chemistry and biotechnology labs. And while our students' enthusiasm is at level 11, some of our equipment doesn't quite meet that level. Sorry, I can't seem to be able to focus my microscope. You can't focus your microscope? Well, look at this. You forgot to light your candle. Try now. Oh, wow. It's working. Look at all those. Isn't technology amazing? So here at Confederation, we are constantly trying to expand our science program and we do this by trying to engage students at an early age, getting their hands on with different things including static electricity, chemistry, physics, um, coding and robotics so that we can get them interested and wanting to take more science and that allows us to continue to expand our senior science course offerings here at Confederation. One of the investments that we've made over the past few years is developing a robotics program that can work hand in hand with our science program. So students not only learn electricity in grade 9, but they can expand that as they learn, uh, play around with Arduinos and develop smart switches that can develop different circuits and then take a robotics design course where they can actually uh, design, build and program their own working robots and they compete in a competition at the end of that course. Sir, my iPad is not charging for some reason. Okay, I'm going in. Try it now. It's working. about science here at Confederation. I like using bunsen burners in our hands-on physical chemical labs. Uh, I like outer space, like learning about the universe and galaxies and suns and moons, all that. You know, on the more of the biotechnology side, we have students that uh, are now working with micropipettes. We've been able to put some money into that program over the years. And students can now do things like gel electrophoresis and see how some of the applications of um, ever-evolving technologies like CRISPR and uh, DNA fingerprinting are having an effect on their world and they're able to actually get their hands on doing some of these experiments um, at the high school level, which is really exciting. With the BioGenius grant, um, one thing that we're excited about is continuing to upgrade our equipment. We have some microscopes that could definitely use some upgrading. Uh, we'd like to get more so we don't have to share between different teachers and that means more hands-on experiences for students. Um, we would also really like to improve the physical environment in the school. We have one of our science labs has been updated in the last five years. The other have not been updated since the school was built in 1967. So we're looking at ways that we can get students working um, in more collaborative environments, um, incorporating things like, like vertical working environments and um, just getting students uh, a classroom that they're more proud of when they walk into and they're feeling like they're, they're learning at, uh, in a facility that's you know, a little more state of the art. Um, our science program is super strong at Confed. I'm super proud to be in it. I really enjoy sciences. Um, we do lots of awesome labs, but a lot of the times our teachers go and buy their own things. Um, with some new money though, we could have new cutting edge labs that would help us grasp the concepts a little better. Yeah, but that's all, folks.